These are the faces of the United Nations. They came from many backgrounds, but shared a vision. They embody our ideals. And they sought to realize those ideals throughout their lives, which were so vile and maturely interrupted. Twenty-two faces of our consciousness. Twenty-two aspects of our common humanity. You remember when you told me three to six months? Uh, yes. <laughs> Together, they were the United Nations. I said yes. As individuals, each left his or her own mark on our lives. Each of us recalls them through a different prism. They were and they remain mothers and fathers, sons and daughters, husbands and wives, brothers, sisters, colleagues, and friends. Each have different memories of them, some of them overlapping, others entirely separate. But we are unanimous in recognizing the unique place they occupy in our hearts and in the history of the United Nations. They came to Baghdad, men and women from many different countries and backgrounds. They joined together to do the work the world asked in very difficult and complicated circumstances. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Baghdad. Thank you. We have a huge task ahead, and one that my colleagues, I'm sure, will help me carry out. What they shared, above all, was a stubborn refusal to accept things as they are. They rebelled against the status quo too many accept. Very proud that you, Iraqis, have upheld the ideals and the role of the organization through exceedingly difficult times. They believed that despite everything, the United Nations can and should respond to the grievances of the forgotten and voiceless of this world. Mixed in with this desire to live life fully with spirit, passion and enthusiasm. They had absolutely no patience for apathy, individual or collective, in the face of misery. They knew, intuitively, and through raw experience, what human dignity really is, what it really means. They understood because they had witnessed or themselves suffered the indignity that humans so often heap upon each other and they were not willing to accept that. The United Nations is the sum of its parts. On August the 19th, 2003, that value, that sum, was greatly diminished. Friends and loved ones are indispensable. Our constant challenge in the years to come will be to live with the ever-present pain of their absence, to remember their inspiration, selflessness, and friendship, and through our actions, never to forget. May they rest in peace, and may we, like them, always find the strength to refuse to accept things as they are.